Ryan with a look at Singularity Net again. Boy, we've been expecting a move out of this thing for a very long time. All right. Um, obviously, right back over here, it broke this support. Coming down through this resistance, I mean, coming down through here. All right, we covered that. It had this push up, a pullback, and now this, this big push up here. All right, which has been absolutely beautiful. It's up. Let's see here, 18.47% for the day. It was up a lot more than that, okay? Um, on the daily candle, uh, from the, we're gonna look at a price target here too. It was up 33%, all right? Is this move over? Well, we're gonna take a look at that and dig into this, and I'm gonna tell you that here, and we're gonna cover this in just a second. All right, first off, I do wanna show you over here on CoinGlass, uh, 24 hour liquidations, 149.8 million that's down 14 percent from yesterday expect that to rise dramatically open interest is at 48.9 billion and uh 24 hour volume for the crypto market 130.3 billion dollars that's down uh, about 10 percent from yesterday we have 50.65 percent long in the market and 49.35 percent short over here on the crypto bubbles look at this for the month all right it doesn't work this easy guys it just don't. I, I was in the last bull run. Bitcoin gives you a smack every now and then and brings you back to reality. All right. Uh, this run up has been way too easy. Okay. For the month, look at these numbers. All right. For the day, a little bit of red out there. All right. Bitcoin is wedging up here. And uh, we're gonna. I'm going to show you that here. Look at the S&P 500. A full 4.236 extension almost. Um, and not only that, you have the Dow Jones. Let me show you real quick. Look at this. A full 4.236 Fibonacci extension. And you have the NASDAQ it also has the full 4.236 extension. So does that mean it's time for Bitcoin uh, to have a little bit of a knockback here? Possibly. All right. We listed some trades in Discord yesterday. Um, We've had uh, three winners over the last couple days, so uh, beautiful, great guys, uh, great job. I listed the Ape trade, I listed a Beam short, and I listed a Bitcoin short over there, and all three of those were winners. Now, if you're uh, interested in longing and shorting, uh, keep an eye on Bitcoin right here. All right, it's wedging up here, uh, moving down towards the bottom of this wedge but that doesn't mean anything it could bounce right there but you have your four hour rsi uh right about at the bottom you have your eight hour pulling down you have your 12 hour coming down uh your daily right at the top 98.4 still still bullish technically all right you have your look at the weekly it's just turned up but you also have your monthly at a 100 and a 100. So 53,051 is at 702. Keep a very close eye on that. And what's kind of crazy, look at these wicks on the eight hour. If price pushes up, sells, sell orders. Price pushes up, sell orders. Price pushes up, sell orders. All these sell orders up around $53,000. That's at 702. All the big boys know okay that the 702 is coming in it just does not work this easy okay bitcoin is due for uh, you know a pullback here three four there's your fifth wave so we'll see what happens here but if you do long and short um you know we post these trades over in the discord um a level three membership is 14.99 that gives you over 20 videos nine hours worth of videos to teach you how to do this stuff we have a bull run coming guys don't make all this money and lose it over uh you know for 15 bucks i can you can i can show you how to get price targets i show you how to do all this stuff look at this short coming all right i got to get this posted in discord uh if this breaks this support right here all right and I have a link for Mexi in the description of the video if you're interested. If it breaks the support, wait for the retest back up and write it down. Okay, um, and that's what this could be doing. Not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. You know, but the uh, move for Bitcoin, if it breaks that, would probably be down around fifty thousand bucks. You know, that's where this thing could be pulling back to if it loses its support. Does that add up with a few things? Well, if we take the measured move of the wedge, 
or symmetrical triangle, whatever you want to call it. Look at that. That puts us right down there. So keep an eye on that. That could be a very, very nice short coming up. Um, I'll, I'll get that posted in Discord. Go sign up for 15 bucks. It's well worth it. I'm telling you. You'll make it back in one trade. All right. Let's get back over here to uh, Singularity Net. I want to get this uh, video out. Please hit the like and subscribe, guys. I would appreciate that so very, very much. All right. We've been covering this a long time. We've got all kinds of... Uh, support move resistance moves in here let's get rid of a couple of these all right now the measured move for this all right you have a wave one two right here let's see take the trend based fib that gives you your target all right wave one probably started right there the top of wave one and the retracement all right looks like this move could be you know about gassed out all right, if you go in on a one hour, you can see an ABC starting right here, okay? Um, I guarantee this came up to a 618. Let's measure it out. And you have a C leg coming down, all right? There you go. It's up to a 618, and uh, you know, this thing is probably and end up pulling back down here all right more than let's look here this move needs moved up a hair all right let's take a look at the rsis here you got your one hour just about reset on the bottom here looks like uh could push up a little bit the four hours rolling over it's bearish eight hour uh bearish 96 and a 98 the 12 hours at a 100 and a 99 and then your daily is at a 197. The nice one here, this weekly has just turned up. So I would imagine after this ABC completes, it's probably going to start pushing back up. You know, as long as Bitcoin co cooperates and uh, doesn't have a major correction here. You know, but I would be look, watching for this thing. You know, it could put, you know, it could push back up here. It didn't quite touch the 618 here. All right, which uh, usually it does. But, you know, I'd be looking for a pullback here, quite possibly, you know, back down to uh, point, uh, 34 cents. You know, that, that's where this measured move would be. I know it looks big on the screen here, but, uh, you know, back down to 34, and then I would expect it to uh, continue back up. This could all just, uh, you know, coincide with a Bitcoin pullback, you know, but that would be end up being a... Uh, a, I'm going to leave this on here for the next video. B, and a C down here. All right. Now, I could be totally wrong, guys. Who knows? This thing might just take off and head for the moon. But that's, uh, you know, I would be watching for that, quite honestly. It, it did five waves up. Um, you can even see five waves right in here. You know, right down through here. You got it. Two, three, four, five. You know, and that's stretched out on a 30 minute here. If I put it closer together, you know, you can see five waves up here. Okay, I would be expecting that ABC. That's the target down here. I'd be looking for at uh, 34 and a half cents. So, all right, thank you so much, guys. Uh, congratulations on uh, the move up here. After this correction, I would expect it to head back up. We got the weekly RSI bullish and heading up. All right, thank you so much. Have a great day, everybody.